She is incredibly political. Uh, I think that Kent has very much raised her as well and made her aware of Lear's world. I think the biggest, the most difficult thing in the play is to make Cordelia saying nothing make sense. Um, and if, I felt if she is saying clearly I'm standing out against this regime as well as a father who's telling me who to marry and how much he I'm supposed to love him, then it makes sense. What she's standing out against is everything that's on stage. The microphones, the people standing watching, the public nature of the statement. She's not going to play the game. She can't do it anymore. They've all had to do it for too long. When she says the very active word, nothing, it's a stand to him, uh, not only as a woman that she's about to become, because she's about to be married, but also to say, I'm not going to live in this way anymore. If I'm going to become my own woman, you need to hear what I have to say about how you rule. I think she knows, as well as many other people in the court, like The Fool and Kent, just how great Lear was once, and that that has disappeared as it becomes more of a dictatorship. And she wants to bring him back with love to the man that he was, so this is her one chance to do that. And she doesn't have much time to think about it, so she reacts as she knows how with truth and honesty. I think it's so important to show that she's someone who could lead an army, which, I, which leads back to the first scene. You, that makes you understand why she makes a stand. She's got that strength. She could kill someone. She's by herself without the King of France, and she could do this independently.